I joined the London Fire Brigade and the Fire Brigade Union in 1983. I'm a lifelong trade unionist. I've always been proud of joining the London Fire Brigade and I'm still proud of what our members do. Putting out fires is a useful thing to do. Fires, floods, road traffic collisions, and if you save someone's life or you play a role in saving something, that's quite a remarkable thing to experience. It's a fantastic job and a fantastic service. I never expected to be the General Secretary of this union. I love being a firefighter and I happened to be in a particular place at a particular time during a debate. I was seen as a leading light of one point of view that ended up in elections and I ended up being the General Secretary. The fire service has been under attack for 16 years or so and particularly for the past nine years. That means our profession as firefighters, as people working on fire stations or in emergency fire controls or training departments and the only consistent voice defending us as a service and as a profession is the Fire Brigade Union. The biggest issue on the minds of FBU members today is their pay. We've had nine years of pay restraint from the Tory Lib Dem coalition and then from the Tories. And that means that firefighters today are more than £4,000 a year worse off than if our pay had kept pace with inflation. That's a staggering loss of real wages and that's got to be addressed. Pensions are absolutely essential because of the nature of the job that our members do. And unfortunately, what we've seen in the past decade and a half is various attacks on our pension rights. We developed an evidence-based case. We made the case for an occupational pension scheme. We'll have to fight on every single front, whether that's political campaigning, industrial action and legal action. We've got to stand together. That's the way we make progress. The first fire service funeral I went to was Colin Townsley's after King's Cross, you know, a very powerful emotional event. And I then went to the two funerals at, uh, following Gillinder Street. And you, I suppose you see the impact something like that has on so many different levels. Because even though it's a job that deals with dangers, you don't go to work expecting you or a colleague who's going to die. It's utterly devastating and to pay a real tribute to the people who've lost their lives and the people who were there and the families, you've got to change things and you've got to make it better. Whether that's improving the procedures or improving the training or improving the resources, you've got to try and make sure that something different comes out of it. When Grenfell happened, I woke to see the scenes on the TV, utterly shocked. It's always amazed me of how the people on the night dealt with that incident. The people acted heroically, put their own lives at risk to try and save other people's lives. To then question what firefighters on the night did in a matter of minutes seems completely unjust and unfair to me. Approaching a thousand FBU members have been interviewed by the police hours at a time and we've provided a rep in each of those uh, interviews to support them. We've provided support at the inquiry. The people going into that building were members of the Fire Brigades Union. So the next time the press turn on us, take a moment and look at the pictures of those firefighters queuing up in their breathing apparatus to enter that inferno. That's what trade unionists look like. For me, the high point of my job is getting out talking to our members on the ground, talking to people in their workplaces about their experiences and what they wanted the union to be doing. And I think they want to see their union is, is close to them and, and not some remote body. Nothing's ever been given to us. Nobody ever gave us pay rises. Nobody ever gave us improved equipment or procedures. We had to fight for it. Nobody came to the rescue. It's always been ordinary FBU members who've made the case for decent conditions, and for the best possible fire service for the communities we serve. We've done that over a hundred years. We're still there and we're still fighting. There has been all sorts of attacks thrown at us, launched at us. People said we wouldn't win a ballot on pensions, we did. 
people said we couldn't fight off some of the local attacks. We did. We were threatened with sacking and re-engaging entire workforces and we fought that off. And we haven't allowed anyone to divide us and to defeat us. And the fact we're still there, we're fighting, and people still see us as a threat, that's the greatest tribute you can pay to this union and its members.